So, you may be asking yourself, Alex, what are you doing in the dark? Science, guys. Science. So today, I'm going to be showing you, uh, just real quick, what the uh, GFP viewing ap apparatus can do. Uh, and since I can mount the filters to my camera, uh, I can show you in real time how these plants glow. So, let's just take a look real quick at my control plant. So, this plant, try to get some focus here. There you go. So, this plant is infected with a virus, but the virus itself is not carrying the EGFP sequence in its genome, so it does not glow bright green. Still pretty cool. It's a plant. Now, what does an EGFP virus do? Look at that. How cool. How cool is that? Well, look at this leaf. Jeez. So, as you can see, glowy glow, no glowy glow, yep, that is pretty cool. Uh, well, I gotta show you a leaf that's, some leaves are just pure green. Um, oh, here's a cool one. <clears throat> yeah, as you can see here, this entire leaf is expressing GFP. That's really cool. I don't know how good that is in terms of, you know, Cody virus, uh, you know, protein penetration throughout the plant, but that is, I would say, 99% uh, expressing GFP in that leaf. Could be good for overproducing proteins if you're into that kind of thing. So yeah, I think I'm just going to leave it there for the glowing plants. I mean, we could do this for all time, of course. I think that's so cool, right? Look at that. Awesome, I can finally get rid of those plants. So just as a bit of a teaser, I'm uh, hard at work on sort of optimizing the gene gun and here it is and it's sort of I would call it almost a final form uh, it's a lot lighter uh, cleaner smaller than it used to be which is good um, and I'll have a full sort of write-up or and or video on it later once I'm sort of happy with it um, just with, with the rate of transformation uh, I'm sort of chasing the Helios as my benchmark and this this machine here uses parts that are as good uh, as what's used in the Helios. So if I'm using good parts then I should be getting good transformation, right? Well it's not that simple. Uh, what I'm finding out is a lot of, um, there's a lot of variability first of all even in the Helios sh shot per shot with a transformation efficiency. Uh, second of all, really what's important when you're uh, making a gene gun is how you actually coat your bullets. Uh, so what I was finding, I'm thinking that at least going forward, the parafilm bullets may be a bit of a dead end. Um, and I say that because when I fire the gene gun with the parafilm inside the barrel, uh, not all the gold leaves the bullet. And I think that parafilm, by its nature, is a little bit too sticky. Um, 
So I'm essentially copying the Helios gene gun design, where I'm just coding the insides of um, Teflon tubes with gold on the inside. And they, these seem to be much better at releasing um, the gold. So uh, I won't get into d a detail, this is just, just a sneak peek, but essentially I, I uh, 3D printed this holder and it's cross compatible with the old design. So literally I just have a new method of um, uh, preparing gold bullets that's more in line with the Helios. Uh, and uh, another another spoiler, it may or may not involve a hot dog roller. Uh, but anyway, so the little Teflon bullet coated with gold beads on the inside goes in here. Uh, and then that goes inside your barrel. So it goes inside your barrel like that. And it sits in there pretty nice once you get it. And when you screw it in, it tends to center itself, so you don't, you know, you, ha you don't have to be too careful in placing it. But that's uh, that's where I'm at now. The gene gun is working. Uh, I just need to, you know, get it up to the sort of professional level where I can sort of be happy calling this a finished project. Um, yeah, the major differences really, uh, I've gotten rid of the gauge. Uh, and the um, uh, tra uh, pressure transducer here uh, because now I'm running the gene gun off of a helium tank uh, and it's connected through a quick connect fitting into this solenoid here. So uh, that's sort of a major change. We're using uh, helium, uh, which is allegedly better for gene guns anyway. Um, besides that, uh, there's also a, another solenoid uh, just to vent any excess gas after you're done, just for safety's sake. So um, anyways, I'm not going to get into it. That's where it is now, and I am hard at work on this thing. But I think that looks sweet. Look at that. Anyways, uh, hope you all have a good day, and uh, take care of yourself.